So there's a huge lie that I believed about Jesus for years, and I think most of you have been there, or maybe you're currently there right now. I always thought before I became a Christian, like, I gotta get right and then start going to church, right? I gotta get right with God. But after I became a Christian, I read the Bible all the way through, and then I realized, wait a minute, I can't get right with God. The fact that Jesus came is because I can't get right with God. But by accepting Jesus and receiving the Holy Spirit, I am not only made okay or right with God, I am made righteous and right standing with God through Jesus. He is my righteousness. Not me, but Jesus and what he did for me. You know, I always thought before I go to church, I gotta quit drinking. I gotta quit, you know, partying. I gotta quit cussing. I gotta, I gotta get perfect and then go to church because if not, I'm like a hypocrite, right? That's actually not right because Jesus said the sick are the ones that need a doctor not the people that think that they're perfect. He came to die for the sinners, not the Pharisees that, you know, that they were self-righteous. Now, if they repented and accepted him, then yes, but not the people that thought they had it all together, the people that knew they were sinners. Once you become a Christian, you don't just keep on sinning, but it's not like it magically goes away. You're not supposed to just keep on sinning and live in this sinful lifestyle, but it's not like when you accept Jesus and you say the sinner's prayer and you receive the Holy Spirit that, um, you're just not gonna wanna sin anymore. In fact, you could actually wanna sin more because temptation comes. Now the devil does fighting against you because you're on the side of God. So this lie, I believe for years that it kept me from really having a relationship with Jesus. And a lot of this was based on what I heard, um, the opinions of others, many Christians being judgmental. But I wanna encourage you to not take my word or any other Christian or pastor or church's word for this. Read the Bible. Because when I read the Bible, I truly realized one thing. Most Christians don't read their Bible, or they don't follow what it says at least, because we're all sinners and we all fall short. That's the whole reason for Jesus coming, because if we didn't, then there'd be no reason for him to come, because we would just be perfect people and we wouldn't need a mediator between God and man. We would just, we'd be okay. But God sent his only son to die for you, so you just should not perish but have everlasting life and eternal life in heaven with him when you die and also have life to the full now. So here's what I want to encourage you to do. If you like sinning, and when I say sinning, doing things that the Bible says is wrong, you can't get clean, then get in the shower. That makes no sense. It's the same way if you're like, well, I want to lose weight and, you know, get healthy. You don't lose weight and get healthy, then go to the gym and start eating right. You go to the gym and start eating right and you lose weight and you get healthy, right? I mean, that's what happens. It's the same way with Jesus. You get a relationship with Jesus. You receive the Holy Spirit. You read and study the Bible, the Word of God. And Jesus will help you and show you what needs to be cleaned up in your life. Because the Holy Spirit, the job of the Holy Spirit is to comfort, he's the comforter, to come alongside you with strength, to help guide you, and also to sanctify you. And you're not made perfect, but he is to make you, his job is to make you more like Jesus every day until you leave this world by lining up your life with the Word of God. Most people do not know this and get caught up in this lie. And I believe this for many years. And if you are on the fence about this, I really don't believe that you're watching this video by accident. I really want to encourage you. Look, we all sin. We all have things we struggle with. And you will always have those because this is a fallen world. We are broken people. You're never going to get right with God, but you can get beyond right and be in right standing with God and made righteous through Jesus Christ. He is your righteousness by accepting him. So what I want to encourage you to do is before you try and get right, before you try and do it on your own, read the Bible, pray, Ask Jesus to come into your life. Receive him as your Lord and Savior. Find a good local church, like a body of believers that you can go and receive the word of God weekly and just be around like-minded believers. You know, change your circle of friends. And that will help tremendously. And if you're like, well, okay, how do I accept Jesus? How do I, you know, know I'm going to heaven? I want you to click on this video right here because I break it down in less than 10 minutes. Thank you for watching.